Amen. 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 Right. Do more harm to you than good. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Something Brother David said while he was testifying. He said he was, I don't know what all he said. He was talking about being thankful for so many things. And one of the things that he said was he was thankful to be in church here in Livermore. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm thankful you are too, brother. Amen. Amen. All of you. I realize that most of you, and this is a conservative estimate, most of you probably passed six churches before you got to this one. That's right. Maybe, maybe a dozen. Yeah. And I'm thankful this morning that you chose to come here. Amen. Amen. Well, Hallelujah. Make better. Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Brother Mike preached the message Tuesday night, and before he started it, he said it's going to be controversial. Mm-hmm. And it might have been. I, <clears throat> but anyway, this morning probably is too. Hallelujah. Go with me to Luke 23 and 39. Thank you. We're going to start out there. And read a little bit, and then we're going to move on. Hallelujah. When I was studying last night, the first title that the Lord gave me for this message was Quick. Somebody baptize me before I die. Mm-hmm. The next one was Pigs in a Blanket. So I think I've decided to go with Pigs in a Blanket, considering the response I got from those I sent that out to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Tyler looked at me and said, that's a hot dog and a biscuit. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I want to talk to you this morning about baptism. I want to talk to you. We're going to be reading from John, the third chapter, where Nicodemus comes to Jesus. Actually, I want to talk to you not so much about baptism as I do what Jesus told this Pharisee, this leader of the Jews that came to him that night about being born again. Right. Hallelujah. But first, I want to read to you Luke 23 and 39. And one of the male factors, this is when Jesus was on the cross and there were male factors hanging on one side and the other. The Bible says one of the male factors, Luke 23 and 39, one of the male factors which had, which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Yeah. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly... See, this man was repenting. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You don't have to look too deep to figure out what's going on here. He said, we deserve to be in this place. Amen? Yeah. We have sinned. We have broken the law. We have lived a terrible life. Yeah. We deserve to be where we are. He said, and we indeed justly. For we receive the due reward of our deeds. Did you hear that? Yeah. He's right. confessing with his mouth. Right. He's repenting there as he hangs on the cross. But this man hath nothing hath done nothing amiss, talking about Jesus. Yeah. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. He didn't call him prophet. He didn't call him teacher. He didn't call him a good man. He called him Lord. Amen. 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 So we have a picture here of a man who has put his faith in Christ. Right. And what is going on at the cross. And Jesus' response to him mm-hmm. was his response, nope, sorry, I can't help you, buddy. you got to get baptized first. Yeah. Uh, come on now. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Now, I'm trying to hit a little something, then we'll move on to the text that most people use when they talk about Amen. baptism. He didn't say, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. He, the, the, rich, the, the, uh, the rich man, the rich man was already in hell. The, the male factor... That was hanging there, Brother Bill didn't say, Oh, somebody hurry up and get me off here. Quick, baptize me before I die. Uh-huh. Amen. Mom. Jesus turns to this man, Brother David, who had simply <clears throat> repented and put his faith in Christ. All right. Amen. Amen. Jesus turned to him and said, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. In paradise. Amen. 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 So this man who had lived his life no, they don't tell what he'd done. The Bible didn't go into detail, but we know it was bad enough to get hung. Right. Amen? Sure. And we know he wasn't falsely accused because hanging there on the cross, Brother Sleeves, he confessed to being guilty. Uh-huh. He said, we're hanging. This is the due reward for our deeds. All right. This is what we just... 
This is what we deserve for what we have done. Amen. Aren't you glad this morning that He don't give you what you deserve for what you have done? Amen. 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 I like what Brother Mike said Tuesday night. If we were still under the law, we'd all be dead. Right. Amen. True. We'd all be dead. We'd have done been fried a crispy critter. Amen. Because we've done things we shouldn't have done. We've done things in violation to the law. This man had done things in violation to the law. But hanging there on that cross, the people, they might have only seen the male factor, the same one that they nailed to the cross, the same one that gave up the ghost. But listen, something took place from the time that he was nailed to the cross uh, until the time that the last breath left his body. There was a born again experience. He wasn't the same old male factor as he was before. Amen? He was changed. Why? Not because of baptism. Not because he spoke in tongues. Not because he went out and did a lot of deeds and gave a lot of alms and gave a lot of offerings. But because he had put his faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. That's how he became born again. That's how you become born again, Brother Bill. Is putting your faith in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross of Calvary. And this is a perfect picture and example of that for us to see. Amen. This man, when he was nailed to the cross, was an old sinner. Yeah. Amen. Bound for hell. Right. The same as the guy on the other side. Amen. The, other, the guy on the other side had a choice here. Right. Amen. Amen. It wasn't to choose religion. It was too late for him to choose that. It wasn't to do deeds. It was too late for him to do any deeds. He couldn't come down off of the cross and do and feed the poor and clothe the naked and help the, 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 the homeless. Deeds could not do it. It had to take faith. And one man died in his sins and his transgressions and went to hell. But another man was experiencing a new birth. A born again experience right there on the cross. Before his last breath Come on. left his body. Amen. 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 He was born again. True. Amen. Amen. And that's what we want to talk about this morning. Aren't you glad this morning that you're born again? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. John 3 and 1. John, the third chapter, beginning the first verse. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Mm-hmm. Now the Muslims would give him that. Yeah. That he was a teacher. Right. Many religions this morning, Sister Cindy, will give him what he was a prophet. Jesus was a prophet. Jesus was a teacher. Nicodemus believed that Jesus was a teacher sent from God. But that wasn't enough. Amen? Simply today believing that Jesus existed and walked the sandy shores of Galilee and taught His disciples and healed the sick ain't enough to save you. You must put your faith in Him as Savior of the world. As the Lamb of God Amen. that came to take away the sin of the world. Amen. That's the only way you can be saved. There are many people who believe in Jesus, but they're going to go to hell. Yeah. Right. Amen. You can't just say, well, you have to believe in Jesus. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have to put your faith in what He did on the cross of Calvary, the blood that He shed on the cross. You have to put, if you just believe he's a good teacher, ain't good enough. If you believe he was a good man, ain't good enough. If you believe he was a good, you know, a healer, a prophet, a man called of God, that ain't good enough. You have to believe that he was God in the flesh that came down to man to be the ultimate sacrifice for your sins. You have to believe this morning that there is no other way to get there other than him. Listen, if you're out there today and you confess and you say, I believe that Jesus is my Savior, but I believe that other people can get there other ways. I don't know if you're saved. 
I fear for you this morning because you must believe that He is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man cometh unto the Father but by Him. You cannot believe, as the NIV put it over there in Daniel, whenever the, 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 the king looked into the furnace and said, the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. You can't believe he's just a son of one of the gods. You can't believe he's just one of the gods that has, that, that has some dominion over part of the universe. You have to believe